Hello everyone, I'm Garrett O'Gamber, and happy Halloween. Well, it's not Halloween yet, but I figured I'd play a game that embodies that sense of fear and terror that is my favorite time of this month. So, this game is called Dread Out. You may have heard of this game probably a little bit earlier this year, and I honestly think that's a poor time to talk about it, considering it is a very frightening game. And it takes on an old genre for games. You ever heard of Fatal Frame? Games like that. Basically, the concept is you have to go through an environment to do a certain set of goals with nothing but a camera at your disposal. You have to take a picture of the ghosts. You have to look at them to be able to do anything. You can make decisions, and you can regret those decisions very easily. All the while, all you have to defend yourself is a camera. Now, I've watched a few videos already by Markiplier, and a few other famous YouTubers, PewDiePie, and others. And the one thing I have said consistently watching them play this game is, there needs to be more games like this. I, I am one for voxel games, one for games of creativity, and this game doesn't really offer that. However, this game does offer abject terror. Like Amnesia, it is a game that is intended to scare you. So... Without further ado, and I'm really not looking forward to this, as this is the type of horror that I find the most terrifying, you may hear me scream for real. I might have a very real reaction and just quit. So, let us begin. Oh boy. <laughs> this is the demo version, by the way. Uh, this is not the full release. No, not alcohol. Pure sugar. Oh man, that audio is horrifying. Okay. So we are playing what I believe is a security night watchman. I'm not sure. That's what I get from her, but whoever she is, she has to be the unluckiest person in the world to get this job. I'll pick up the phone already. Alright. Oh wow, that control is very slow. <laughs> okay, there is there is a sprint. Which is good. The graphics are amazing. Wow. Alright, let's um Oh god, I know what's gonna happen here. You know what? Let's try to trick it. No, you can't trick it. It always puts you in that corner. I'm in hell, oh how about you? Where, where are you, right? We're all dying, waiting for you, all dying, we're all dying. This is what I found really cool about this game. The graphics. Oh boy. Yep, so much nope. So much nope. I don't like that kind of horror, really. Here I am playing it. Okay, so let's um grudgingly get into this, shall we? Uh, oh boy. How do I... Okay. There is a delay. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's just wrong in so many ways. So before we go, let's just take a picture of uh, these people. And maybe they won't eat our faces. Alright. Let's see what's around this corner first. No, there's nothing around that corner. Evidence. Uh, okay. Not cool. Now it gets really friggin' dark. There is a ghost around here. Okay, so do you see the things around the screen? That indicates there is a spirit around me. Oh my 
my god. Oh. I don't like this. I really don't. I, I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for the season, but... Uh, okay. Nope. Get the hell out. Oh. So, if you take pictures of the spirits, they vanish. They don't like their picture taken. They're very shy. So basically, it's just a matter of finding them and taking a picture of them. Be alert to their presence, because they can sure as hell see you. Uh, this game has a lot of potential. imagine all of Japanese horror was invented when somebody uh, somebody had a power outage on their street and they just well this isn't true of Japanese horror I guess this is oh that's right yeah that's right there's a hidden wall this isn't Japanese per se this is Indonesia uh, they all have a very similar taste in paranormal. Oh, that's right, there's bugs. I don't know what that says, but let's take a picture for evidence. Ow. This game is free to download as as a demo. It is worth downloading. This atmosphere is so oppressive. And that room serves no real purpose as I'm seeing. Ah, oh, damn it. Take a 
pictures, make sure she's you. real. What are you doing? But she's here? not. I know she isn't. She's not real. <laughs> she's evil. I don't like her. Get out. Come on. Follow me. <laughs> yeah, that's a trap. scariest part of the game, I think, is right here. And, uh, I'm gonna just purposefully avoid her for now. And I don't think I can. There's a cat there. Hey, kitty. Are you a friendly cat? Or are you evil? Hmm. Somebody's had some rough times here. Hi. You gonna follow me around? I wonder if the cat can detect the spirit. Kitty? Kitty. Yeah, come on, follow me. Well, oh, please follow me, kitty. I don't want to go alone. You know what? Fine. Screw you. I'm gonna be that way. Cat's purposely avoiding me. Uh, hold on. Liquid courage. Ugh, there we go. Alright, let's do this. Creepiest effing room in any game, period. The door closed behind me. <laughs> now, this is a brilliant horror scheme. Nothing happens until you turn around. <laughs> Ugh! Ugh, damn it, shit. Oh my god. Oh god. I freaked out. I don't like that at all. I don't like that because you know it's coming. It's you know it's coming by the audio cues. You, you can feel it, and she gets closer to you and invades your space. Oh, God. I don't like that. I don't like ghosts like that. They're not nice. They're evil. They're wrong. They're rude. They deserve to be bitch-smacked across the universe. Oh. Okay. We're in a good place. We're in a safe place. But I have to leave, unfortunately. To the angel thing, go fly, travel, travel, travel. Graphics are amazing though for a demo, for something you can just download for a quick scare. This is beautiful. I'm not even sure you should be running towards that, but okay. <sighs> Alright, collect myself. I hear noises. And I'm in this horrible. Horrible effing room again. You know what? Screw it. I'm not even gonna bother trying to close that door. No point! Not gonna happen. Not gonna work. Okay. So there is a story to this game. It isn't just trying to scare you, it's trying to scare you with a story in mind.
That's a bad sign when you move into a house and you've got these tendril vine things growing out. The black stain, that's often what it's referred to as. It's, yeah, you know, in, in fiction, we see a lot of it now. Really good movies. And what the hell? I saw a candle, clear as day. Oh, there is a candle. Uh, the black stain is more or less supposed to be a representation of bad acting. Like Bunther. Frigger. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I hate these games. I love it, but I hate it so much. I'm, I'm so looking forward to deleting this game off my hard drive after this. Oh, you can hear them. You can hear them. This is a graveyard, if you didn't know. Oh, God. So you don't really have a choice in where you go. It's, it's meant to... unnerve you. I know something is going to run up behind me. I don't think it randomizes the scares. I think the scares are pretty story-driven. But that's scary enough, in my opinion. We're almost at the end of the demo here. I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to do to finish it. I've watched other videos of people play it. And there's that really creepy effing thing up there. Uh, This isn't normal. You should know this going into this. This is not a normal thing. I don't like that music. So silent to list. Yeah, no. Okay, he's dead. Well, 
dead's not the right word for it. Oh, I do not like this game at all. Looks like it's the end of the demo. And yeah. This is a premonition she has, apparently. And there's that creepy girl. <laughs> How about after having that, you say no? I don't want to go there. Thank you for watching. I'm hoping this terrified you as much as it terrified me. <laughs> really cringing. I was literally gripping the mouse with my hands, digging my nails into the uh, little corners here at my desk. This has been Dread Out, a game that is, I, I don't believe it's finished yet, it's uh, from Digital Happiness, it is made in Indo Indonesia, and I have to say it's very well done. I found that very tense and terrifying. A lot of people are like, oh, I want to play Slender, you know, let's play Slender, that's scary. No. Slender is not scary. Slender is a made-up, fictitious character. This shit is based on all those little scary stories that have been passed around through generations. I find factual horror fiction, and that's a weird way of saying that, much more terrifying than um, something that someone makes up in Hollywood or whatever. I quite enjoyed that because I didn't enjoy it. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to play that ever again, but if you guys really like it, I will do another video uh, on the real game when that should come out. If you guys really, really like it, I will add more games like that to my regular lineup. As for now, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, uh, check out my Some Days to Die series. I'm going to be continue doing that. Uh, so, happy Halloween. Oh, I've been Garrett O'Camber. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.